Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. But ding. 10 minutes or less. So TNT. Yeah. I saw an article online that uh, there was a house in Ar- in Idaho. And Ark in the- Idaho? Ark in Idaho? Uh, Spirit Lake, Idaho. Spirit Lake, Idaho. So okay. they... Um, Potatoes. They- they came home, mm-hmm. and the uh, there was roofers on their house, sure. and the roofers were, were taking their roof off. Um, the problem was they didn't ask for any roof work, so oh, so the the roofer had went to the wrong house. That's unfortunate. And took the roof off. You know, put a new one up. They didn't. No, you got to do that. So so basically, this house is left without a roof. And, Wait, and, and the qu- <laughs> yeah, hold on. So the so the comments Whoa. on Reddit were, why didn't they call the police instead of letting these people just continue to take their roof off? And two, so shouldn't someone be sued for this? The uh, the um, the roofing company had the wrong house. Yeah, oh yeah, so, so they took off the roof. Didn't have didn't have the orders to put put any sort of roof back on, and they told the family, "Oh, sorry about that. Our insurance will cover this, and we'll get it taken care of." It hasn't, so they have a tarp over their roof. <laughs> Our insurance because they had a uh, they had a metal roof, so they took it off, and yeah, no. now they have no roof, and the roofers no. not returning their calls, and their insurance has denied the claim. So no, this, so, so this family's just out of a roof on their house. No. No, no, no. That company's going out of business because I'm. There's no you don't you don't contact your lawyer. Oh right. You call up freaking Bernstein and Smo. Well, here's the deal though, TNT. So say you have a house, right? And and your neighbor, have a house, right? Your neighbor comes over and breaks out all your windows, right? Yes, you sue okay. him. You, you sue him. Yes. But what if your neighbor's bankrupt? You ain't getting that money. He owns a roofing company. No, I mean, this, any any this, thing of this is not in a roofing company thing. But even the process of suing him and if getting... If my neighbor owns... If my neighbor has a... I know for a fact that my neighbor has a bunch of double-sided windows in his garage, then yes, he can handle it. Well, I guess... My, well, I, I see what you mean. Like, <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm saying that a roofing company ruined the roof. They have the means... To put a roof to back. put a roof back up there, they have a troop of roofers. They got all the materials. <laughs> like, just do it. I guess my point is, you if can't my scream. neighbor breaks windows and he has a garage full of windows, yeah, just take the windows, the motherfucker, and put them in the house. Yeah, but you can't squeeze blood out of a turnip, right? So if he's... I under, I'm not looking. Look, that those people are not looking for money initially. They would have been perfectly fine if they just said, "All right, we'll just put the roof back up. Sorry for the inconvenience." Yeah, it wouldn't they, have gone any they, further. They probably have been like, "That was really weird. That really sucked." Like, but we got a new roof out of the, the deal. Roof, right? We yeah. got a new roof right, out right. of the deal. But no, they now they're looking for blood. Now I would be yes. I want blood. I want blood out of that stone. I want you to squeeze send you from the turnip, Jonas. Yeah. <laughs> I want it. But like, I feel like yeah, and I, feel I like want that's marrow. The, the reasonable response is like, you know, hey, you want to make this right? We'll be cool. Like, this sucks. Sorry, my bad. But then you want to like just pump me, pump me off, and make me call your insurance, and nothing's yeah. happening. Yeah. It's been a week, and I ain't got no roof on my house. Yep. And- now, now, I, now I can't go outside without crying, <laughs> 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 or be inside without crying. Yeah, thank so, you, right? So. I don't even want to be in my own home anymore. Yeah, yeah. dude, I just yeah. can't. Now I have mental distress. But, but I guess I was like, I, I really related with the people in the comments that were like, "Yo." If you come home, like, they got the whole roof off while you were gone? Like, there was no moment where you could come home and say, stop taking my effing roof off? That's a little nuts. Like, what like, are you doing there? But and on the same note, I'd be like, oh, well, I guess maybe the city sent somebody out. I'd go out. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if it's like an older couple. I can see I that. don't know. They said they had kids, I guess. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, like, and then in the comments, somebody else was like, I've worked in roofing for two decades. Every single job on the paperwork includes a picture of the house that we're working on. I've never not went to a job and yes. not had a photo of the building I was taking the roof off. Not of. to mention that if somebody's <laughs> home, don't you think you would communicate with that person? Knock on the door first, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I or don't like, know. yeah, just like ask the question, like, "Hey, is this your house? Is this?" Yeah, ding, ding, ding. Hello. Uh, uh, hey, I'm roofer here. Just Smith and to... Sons Roofers. Uh, we're here or to work like, on yeah. your roof. Oh yeah, head on up. I would feel like if I was a roofer and I knew I had to go and replace this roof. And I went to the house the day I was supposed to do it, and there wasn't anyone home. I would still call the person and be like, 
hey, are we still good to start the work on your house today? Yeah, or somebody should, yeah. Like, absolutely. I you mean, should. there's a lot of fault on this I'm sure roofer. There's a lot of fault on the roofer. It may have been, like, young or inexperienced roofers that were that were doing the job. Yeah, or, or just but, some guys like, I got a roofing company. Yep, he might have been drunk. Yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> It right. sounds like drunk behavior to not try to get that kind well, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, because handled. there's a, I mean, because here's the thing you have to look out for, too. Just because someone has a business doesn't mean they're good at what they do. Ain't that the truth? Because man. anyone can be like, I'm a roofer, I'm right. a lawn care guy, whatever. And if they register their mm. company and show up, you don't know what you're what you're getting. How and, how many years do we have to deal with Mad Cats controllers? Oh my lord, dude! <laughs> Just because I, the person owns a company does not I, mean they're good at what they do. Yeah. If you don't know about the Mad Cats controller, just look it up. I'm sure. Oh my AVG, god, they were. Oh, AVGN has got to have an episode on that one, right? Uh, but yeah, dude, because I mean, there's you hear horror stories all the time. Like I, uh, I called the company to do my house. They accepted the paint, the paint job. They showed up, painted for three days. Now I haven't seen them in three weeks because they're not mm -hmm. able to manage their time, and they have eight jobs and they only have one crew, mm -hmm. so they aren't managing their workload properly. So you get a half painted house, and then you have to fight with them to come back and finish your house. And mm. you know, there's stories about that all the time. Yeah, that's that's true. So yeah. that's the different. But that's also where you're like, okay, do I want to go with a corporate big company because? Uh, they are someone I can but they're see. Gonna be more they expensive. have management, or just like Joe's Roofing, where it's just one guy, yeah, right? But you're gonna get the cheaper price with Joe, right? But Joe's how do you know Joe's you not deal? a raging alcoholic and can barely get out of bed? <laughs> in Let alone have have project management skills. <laughs> Joe's in his truck with a needle stuck in his arm. <laughs> lunchtime right wearing, a, wearing an boys. adult diaper right they're all smoking meth on break and they come back and start slamming you know whatever dude especially if you're from our hometown i'm sure there's oh, like people who come to work on people's houses and they're all jacked up it's so true man you got to respect the entrepreneurial spirit the entrepreneurial spirit of those type of individuals though like if you can be a meth addict and an alcoholic and be an entrepreneur yo yeah and, that's yeah, the american I mean, dream yeah, I That's mean, they're the trying. Dream. They're trying, dude. They're like, I want to be my own boss, smoke my own meth, mm -hmm. and function as an adult. Yeah, and while with an alcohol level of 0. 0.8 or something. <laughs> I don't know what's high. 0. 0.8. Is that high? Uh, Yes. So I think that's death. <laughs> I think 0. 0.08 is the legal limit, yes. so that would be 10 times the yes. legal limit. All right, successful um, joke then. Yes. Yeah, uh, speaking of which, <laughs> there was a uh, uh, this is uh, kind of neither heard of it. There was a wrestler who got pulled over for DUI. Really, Wasn't that Jeff Reese, Hardy? Re yeah, Jeff Hardy. His blood alcohol was point two nine, so he was almost Damn. four times the legal limit of Damn. alcohol drunk, and he was out driving. It, it, this was at like nine o'clock in the morning. So, nine o'clock in the morning. That's like a decent hour. Yeah. That was like he was just going for a, a, a spin. Yeah, a video came out of him because uh, he, he's like a wrestler and he's like supposedly a singer-songwriter, right? Everybody wants to be a singer-songwriter. <laughs> but there's a, a video of him the night before wearing the same clothes uh, doing a doing, – wherever he was singing at like a hotel or something. And uh, he held up a glass of whiskey and was like, this is my best friend and my worst enemy and like – yeah, he's been arrested for DUI and some drugs in the past. So, I mean, look, that if there's one industry where you can get away with being a drunk and a chronic drug user, it's wrestling and music. And music. Yeah, so Very he's got true. the best of both, yeah. Very true. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, he's had, he's had a long history of... It's, uh, the, it's a business we should get into. Yeah, oh, alcoholism and narcotic <laughs> abuse. <laughs> Casual drug use. Can I be a junkie and a functioning member of society? Let's, and get paid for it, essentially. I mean, yeah, because like I feel like the music industry almost feeds off that. They want you to have like an eating disorder or like an alcohol problem. or so Because pain inspires creativity it does it so, does so especially when it comes to writing or music because or whatever emotion emotion in, in in music definitely drives it and, but i think it would take like a drastic change in like just american culture to get to the point of like we don't idolize that type of behavior or that type of ideal. yeah yeah well and i think i think That's the, interesting. i think the ideals come from the point of like look at this person they're quote unquote successful and rich and they're able to get effed up all the time and do drugs and yeah, like whatever. Yeah, but yeah. honestly, most of those people are a goddamn mess. And if they didn't have assistants and handlers, they yeah. would they would be dead way before exactly. they're dead. You know, they're yeah. a goddamn uh, 
burden to their own life. People love a tortured artist. They, they yeah. like somebody who's experienced. They like to watch people in pain. It's it's kind of it's kind of fucked up, man. But I think it's just human nature. Yeah, because yeah. I, I think it kind of transcends just American culture, and that's just more like human nature. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. <laughs> Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Uh, we out. <laughs>